We do start tonight with mounting legal challenges after Washington Governor Jay Inslee signed three bills aimed at preventing gun violence. They include a landmark bill to ban the sale of assault style weapons. Grab 2's Amanda Rowley has been tracking the latest developments as the lawsuits against that ban challenge its legality. Amanda? Before Governor Inslee's ink even dried, federal lawsuits that challenge Washington's new firearm ban have already started to trickle in. So far, we're tracking two federal lawsuits, one of which lists a Spokane gun shop and a former rifle Olympian as plaintiffs. The National Rifle Association filed a lawsuit in Eastern District Court on behalf of the National Shooting Sports Foundation and individual plaintiffs, including Sharp Shooting and former rifle Olympian Amanda Banta from Spokane. The lawsuit lists the Washington Attorney General and Chief of Washington State Patrol. It calls Washington's ban on certain semi-automatic rifles and pistols unquestionably unconstitutional. The lawsuit states, few states have ever tried to adopt such an extreme measure, and for good reason, as no less an authority than the Supreme Court has already recognized that semi-automatic rifles traditionally have been widely accepted as lawful. Governor Lindsley's signature on this law does not mean it's constitutional. Mark Oliva is a spokesperson for NSSF. He further explained the organization's intent behind filing this lawsuit. I think the people of Washington should understand that their Second Amendment rights belong to them, that they're not privileges that are granted and taken away at the whims of politicians in Olympia. During the signing of House Bill 1240, Attorney General Bob Ferguson said he was confident the ban would survive legal challenges. We have defended a number of bills related to common sense gun reform, and our record so far is pretty good against the NRA and against the Second Amendment Foundation. We are undefeated, and we plan to keep that record intact. The Second Amendment Foundation filed a separate lawsuit, also arguing the ban is unconstitutional. It says to ban a firearm, it must be both dangerous and unusual. Adding firearms that are in common use, such as Washington's banned firearms, are neither unusual nor dangerous. Now, movement on these lawsuits won't happen overnight. It, in fact, it could take years to reach a ruling. But in the meantime, we'll continue tracking their progress. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.